Are you thinking about getting a puppy and wondering if it'd be better to get two rather than just one based on companionship? In this video, I'm gonna be discussing whether or not it's a good idea to get one Boston Terrier starting out or if you should go ahead and get two. Coming up. Hey everybody, welcome to the Boston Terrier Society YouTube channel. Be sure to hit like and subscribe if you're someone who wants to learn more about the breed, learn what it's like to be an owner, hear expert interviews, as well as connect with other Boston Terrier lovers just like yourself. I'm Donnie Gardner, the founder of bostonterriersociety.com, and today on the Boston Terrier Society Q&A show, I take your guys' questions in the comments, just give you what my perspective is on those questions. So today's question comes from Bala. Hey there, I'm planning to get a Boston, but having second thoughts as I work for nine hours during the weekdays each day, I wanted to know in such a situation, is it better to get two pups so that they are engaged or is it better just to stick with one? Emily and I have discussed this a number of times. So my number one reason, and I think it's a great idea, but my number one reason why is for companionship. You know, we only have Bella, our single Boston Terrier. And I think whenever we were leaving for work or, you know, just leaving for the day for whatever reason, if she had another Boston here with her, she would love it. She'd have somebody to cuddle with all day long. They could take naps together. They could play together. It would just keep them more engaged with one another rather than her, you know, whenever she was younger, we were crate training her rather than her being in her crate all day or like it is today where she's in the bathroom, being in the bathroom by herself all day. Now, if you do decide to go this route, I would highly recommend getting one Boston Terrier or dog from the very beginning and then waiting basically maybe eight months to a year before you get your second dog or Boston Terrier. The reason why, this is gonna give you ample amounts of time to train the dog before the next one comes. You know, the first one's basically gonna be your guinea pig, that trial and error. You're learning how to do potty training. You're learning basically the rhythms of owning a dog if you've never owned one before. This way, whenever you get your second Boston, you're able to train it much faster because you know what to do. And secondly, that Boston is gonna pick up on the habits of the first one. So if you taught your first Boston where to go potty and it goes potty in that spot every time, well, that puppy is gonna mimic that older dog, which is great. The learning curve is much less. Plus, whenever it comes down to training in general, you never want a situation where you get two puppies at the exact same time, because whenever you are trying to train it, it's gonna be the situation where they both go that way. Doing one at a time is a good idea, at least keeping it eight months or so apart. That way, the younger puppy can pick up on what the older dog is doing. And really, the only cons that I see about having two dogs rather than one, I mean, if this is a con, is money, right? Now you're gonna have double the vet bills, you're gonna have double the food bills, things of that nature. That's really the only con that I see with having two dogs. So another question I wanna answer is, why haven't Emily and I got a second Boston? The biggest thing is we've talked about it for literally years, probably, I don't know, Emily might have brought this up whenever she was three years old or whatnot. Bella was three years old. We were deciding whether or not we should get a different dog. We've talked about getting everything from a French bulldog to, I can't remember the other dogs that she's mentioned. They're fancy dogs. So either way, we have talked about it. Question of the day to you is, what do you see as a pro and con? Just list your pros and cons of owning two dogs in the comments below. So that way when people come to this video and they're wanting to answer this question, you know, should I get one or two dogs? It'll just help them out. So put your pros and cons below. I'd love to check them out. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit like and subscribe to this YouTube channel. Otherwise, until next time, life is better with a Boston.